Hey, Dr. Sands here. Welcome to Los Angeles Pacific University Business 415 Operations Management. Welcome to class. I'm super excited about the journey ahead of us, and I'll be your professor for the next eight weeks. Wanted to take a minute to say hello in person and just walk through the class here a little bit, uh, see what we got going on. All right, so let's start with uh, announcements. I uh, do check the announcements uh, weekly because I do post uh, every week. Uh, so what we have starting out with class is the welcome to uh, welcome to class messages that I posted. Um, just gives a, a hello and a little bit about the course, how to contact me, well my text my, my uh, cell phone, course learning outcomes, and then just overall information about the the course. I also provided a little bit about myself, a uh, uh, bio video posted here on YouTube. Uh, recently published a book, Six Sigma Success Factors, and then my pers uh, professional uh, industry experience, uh, my education, and academia. So I've worked for a number of fortune size organizations mm -hmm. over the years, and uh, specifically in healthcare since uh, 20, uh, 2001. And then with my education, ending up with a PhD from Walden University. All right. Okay, so then uh, we what I will post uh, at a minimum uh, to start the week off is kind of your weekly recap. Everything I put in here is accessible uh, in that week, but uh, at least you have one spot here that you can check out on Mondays that uh, is the week uh, ahead of you. And if you could, by uh, this Wednesday, go into the community area and say hello. Share a little bit about your about yourself, your background, and then uh, it's good to uh, meet, especially in this virtual environment uh, where sometimes you feel like you're out on an island. Uh, it's always good to create some community. So go into the community area, say hello, share a little bit about yourself, and say hi to a couple of your peer students as well. All right, the next one here is uh, references and in-text citation. This is just a, a quick reminder that every time you use a reference, whether it's in you know uh, a written research paper or PowerPoint or whatever, anytime you use a reference, you need to include that as an in-text citation. So like for example, on your discussion questions, when you do your initial post, and you uh, provide the required references, you have to use said references at least once in your, you know, your written body. Same thing when, if you're, when you're replying to your peers, support that was a reference, you have to use that in the, the written body of what you write. And then lastly here in uh, announcements, um, with APA, uh, especially here in academia, academia and APAs, uh, unless it specifically you know says to the contrary, you know you'd be using APA. I actually taught APA for a couple years, and uh, the APA manual is a good manual, has a lot of good information in it, but it's a lot, and you don't need all that information for the breadth and depth and size of papers we write here. So. Uh, the video I've just teased out a few of the really important aspects from APA that you need to, uh, you need to know and uh, should know when uh, you're in college. So uh, check that out. Uh, and if you have any questions, please let me know as well. All right, let's go to the core back to the course. And let's uh, scroll on down and take a look at the assignments. So you have uh, five assignments for this course. Uh, the first one doing uh, is due in uh, two weeks from today. So the, the date of recording of this video is May 6th, 2024. And as you can see, the first uh, your first assignment is May 20th. So in subsequent courses, when I use this video, um, if your date is uh, later, then uh, check out your due date and it's gonna be a couple weeks in. So I would suggest uh, check out you know your assignments, you know what uh, what they're about, and uh, get familiar with it and try not to uh, uh, wait to the last minute to get started on your assignments. Um, go back to course home. I do want to check out the syllabus. 
So the syllabus is is important. Uh, make sure it's one of the first things you do this week is uh, read through the syllabus. There's a lot of important information in there, particularly um, you know the discussion forms and your, your grade value, final grade points for the class, and in particular is the late work policy. So um, late work, late assignments, uh, you know, once you turn them in after 24 hours, it's uh, 10% per day. And then there are no assignments accepted after three days. So make sure you read through that and you get familiar with it. And then down to, uh, you know, the assessment, ru assessment rubrics uh, for each assignment. And that's why it's important to read through it because not only do you have your instructions for the assignment, uh, the rubric also um, uh, articulates, you know, what is expected. So, for example, this first assignment, forecasting methods and analysis, uh, product and service description, trend analysis, operation strategies. So, remember, what I grade is in the rubric, and this is the rubric. So, this, this has to align with your assignments. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. All right, so uh, as your announcements, um, where your syllabus, ask a professor. Now you can drop questions in here um, or you can drop a question up here in this uh, message uh, 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 option. But really the best thing, uh, the best way is just to email me. I have my email on my phone. And so I get that right away because sometimes, you know, I don't always check the ask the professor or this message function here daily. Um, so uh, with the email, I, of course, will check that daily. Here's your community section where you want to go in and post a hello and a little bit about yourself, study room if you need it, and then, of course, live tutoring and online counseling. All right, so for course overview, and then what I want to just uh, look at lastly for the course is just uh, the week one here. Now, for week one, you do have some additional information like, uh, you know, what's in it for you. Uh, the skills, you know, about the course, and then the program, you know, uh, the program level, and then, you know, some additional here for course overview and success tips. So for your first discussion, which is uh, you need to, by Thursday, uh, post your first initial post, and then uh, discuss through Saturday. So if you are doing your initial post on Thursday, you need to respond on Friday, respond on Saturday to keep the conversations flowing and not just go in and do a bunch of posts on Thursday. All right. So when you click into the discussion, uh, each discussion will have the, uh, the overview and then what you need to review, what you need to respond to, and then detail uh, requirements about the discussion itself. Of course, college level writing, so should be understood. The initial post, the lengths, um, responding to your peers, the length, and then of course, you know, how many you need to respond to, which is a minimum of two, all right? Okay, well that walks through the discussions. And that in general is just a quick uh, hello from Dr. Sands. Again, I'm super excited to be along this journey and just uh, some particulars about your classroom. Again, I'm here to support you. And if you need any help, got any questions, just feel free to shoot me an email.